Hello everyone, welcome to this episode. My name is William. In this episode, I would like us to look at um, how to paginate our users. This is uh, the customer's page that we are working with. I've been able to seed more users. So we have very many users here and I would like us to just paginate. And then we can be able to continue like that. So I would like us to open uh, the customer's uh, class. In the back end and we are going to do several things so the first thing that we are going to do for us to be able to paginate we need to have the live wire with pagination uh, trait to include it here so we are going to add use live wire with pagination like that and then here we are also going to include that trait so we are going to just write use with pagination inside the class here we are going to uh, use with pagination like that and then after that, then we are going now to uh, paginate. I do not know why we have it because the name is already in use. Oh, we have it here. It's okay. So we are going to save. I think it was a repeat. So now. Um, for us to be able to display these customers, we will need to modify because currently if um, I'm able to refresh, you're going to see that we are going to get an error. So let me just click on, uh, on our, yes, on our, on our page. If I refresh, we will actually end up with an error if we use the pagination so inside here instead of uh, customer all then we are going to have customer paginate and then we are going to pass the number of uh, that are supposed to be paginated and also in this other one we can say instead of get we can say paginate and then we can be able to pass in the value in this case how many users per page so in this case we can write 10 for both the two methods and these methods I mean these are um, the customer uh, property we are setting it to these customers as we did in our previous tutorial but I want to show you that it's not going to work because I want to justify modification so let us refresh once you refresh you can see we are going to end up with an error and it's saying property type not supported and so the best way that we are going to do is to pass in our customer as an array here so what we are going to do we will have customer customers uh, customer the customer variable customers but remember for us to be able to do it like this then we have to modify whatever it is that you're having in our solution here so i'm going to delete and just have customers so we are not going to reference to uh, the property that we have above here so this property that you're having public customers i'm going to remove it and then if we are to go and refresh again you will find that now it works ah, now it's working so you can see we only have 10 users and just to make this look a little bit nice i would like us to go to the customer uh, component the view so customers.blade and inside here in our table i would just like in our tab where where we're beginning the table i want to just add a class table 
small so in this case it you make our our columns a little bit smaller so you can see we are having the 10 users now i want us to have the pagination here so what i'm going to do i'll just scroll down here and i'm going to write um just the same way we usually do it in laravel we say uh, customers and then links just like that and that you'll be able to do links and yes links and that you'll be able to do the trick even though we still have a small problem as you can see now we have previous and next when i click next now it is displaying uh, this pagination so badly because now the other things are being displayed down here for us to be able to cure that we will go and um, declare a protected uh, a property so you go back to live wire app live wire customers dot php that class and here we are going to have a protected property and we are going to say pagination theme we are going to set it to bootstrap like that and now this you'll be able to make our pagination work perfectly so let us um, refresh and now you can see it is playing nicely so this is a page two if i click page one if i click page three page four and so on and so forth like that so we have been able to effectively implement pagination in our uh, component thank you very much for following this tutorial video up until this